Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm back with another NMC OSCE video for you. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and keep sending those comments, okay? They really, um, I guess it's really motivating to see that lots of you are using these videos to revise for your exam and I'm really hoping that it's helping you, uh, you know, to clear some of your doubts, okay? So today's station, so today's station is another clinical skill. So we're going to look at what are the most common fails in clinical skill station um, where you take catheter specimen of urine, okay? So CSU, so catheter specimen of urine. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. What are the most common fails? And I'm going to give you my top tips that you don't make those fails, uh, don't, don't, don't make those mistakes, okay? So let's get started. So your CSU, which is catheter specimen of urine, is eight minute clinical skill in your exam. Uh, in eight minutes, you have to clamp the catheter first, and then you need to collect the sample uh, correctly from the sample port, okay? So there is a sample port on the uh, tubing and you need to collect it from there correctly using a septic non-touch technique. Even though you're not wearing sterile gloves, but you still use non-touch technique because you do not want to contaminate the sample. And it is, uh, ID and LRD check, they already tell you is completed. So you do not need to complete that because it's only eight minute station. They also tell you all your equipment is clean, your tray or trolley, whatever they have given you is already clean, okay? So you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's get into it. The first fail, which is the first common fail, did not collect the tubing before collecting the sample. Now, uh, in uh, real practice, uh, you would clamp the catheter tubing 10 minutes, uh, sorry, 30 minutes before, 20 to 30 minutes before collecting the sample. So same in exam, you do need to show, and it's part of your marking criteria, you need to show how to clamp the tubing correctly. So that means you're going to collect, as you can see uh, on the picture, uh, I've see, shown you the port, sample port. So you go, below the sample port about 10 roughly about 10 centimeter you don't have to measure it exactly but around 10 11 centimeter 12 centimeter you put the non-traumatic clamp which they give you in exam okay so you do need to clamp that and then you can say okay examiner I have clamped the tubing now can I assume 30 minutes are over uh, and uh, can I go ahead now and collect my sample okay so that's what you need to do if you do not collect this uh, do not, even if you, I mean, it's part of your marking criteria, so you do need to show, okay? So you do need to show how to clamp your tubing. Okay, number two, uh, did not clean the port with alcohol and chlorohexidine wipe uh, before, prior to collecting the sample. So it's really, really important because we do not want to contaminate this sample. So what we need to make sure is that you do clean it, as you can see, chlorohexidine and alcohol wipes, those little ones, that you clean it with single swipe from top towards the bottom. So start from the top towards uh, coming down with one swipe, clean, you will say I will clean it for 30 seconds and I will let it dry for 30 seconds, okay? Um, because it's really, really important that you do that because otherwise your sample will be contaminated. It will pick up the bacteria from the unclean port. So it needs to be cleaned before collecting the sample. So that's really, really important. If you forget that, it would be a critical fail. Uh, so number three, uh, touch the tip of the syringe while attaching to the port. So the port you get in exam to collect catheter specimen of urine is normally needle-less port, okay? So it means you do not need to use the needle most of the time. So it's just that you're just putting the tip of the syringe into the port. It just goes in. If you push it in, it will go in nicely. Now, when you attach the, so that's where the aseptic non-touch technique, you don't need sterile gloves, gloves, but what you do need to do is, is to just, just normal clean gloves, but make sure you do not touch the tip. 
because if you touch the tip obviously you contaminated the syringe and you obviously will contaminate because tip will come in touch with the urine so that would contaminate your sample so you can hold the syringe from back but you do not touch the tip of the syringe okay so maintain a septic non-touch technique there otherwise they it would be critical fail so hold it from far uh, don't hold it from tip hold it from the syringe otherwise and just go straight into the port without touching the tip so that's what you need to do okay so number four did not remove the clamp after taking the sample okay so if you do forget to now this is very 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 common fail uh, that uh, nurses are leaving clamp in place so they collect the sample they think okay i've collected it they transfer it to the bottle <clears throat> they clean the port again but they forget to take they cover the patient they forget to take the clamp off so that would be unsafe practice because if you don't take in real scenario if you do not take the clamp what's going to happen your patient is going to go into urinary distension and lot of discomfort and pain so you it's not a safe practice to leave the uh, clamp on after taking the sample so cl whole purpose of clamp was to just collect the urine in the tubing so we could take the sample now that purpose is served so we need to take the clamp off okay so if you do not do it it would be a critical fail and it is the more uh, one of the most common fails in your exam for this station which is csu okay so last one coming up <clears throat> number five did not wear apron and gloves before touching the catheter or tubing now you would think oh god that's very simple how how somebody can make that mistake in exam you're nervous and you may just try to look at the tubing where the sample is start taking the cover off the mannequin just to see that without gloves and apron and touch the tubing or the catheter that would be a critical fail because it's infection control risk so you never touch the tubing or catheter in real clinical practice without gloves and apron on okay so again even in so you put your gloves and apron you talk to your patient you take the consent after that you collect your equipment put your gloves and apron on and then uncover the patient then have a look where the port is and then clamp your catheter then you're ready to take the sample okay but do not touch do not touch any clamping and any tubing or any catheter tubing uh, without uh, the gloves and apron okay that would be a critical fail because like i said it says you're breaking the infection control chain so you are putting yourself uh, at risk of carrying the uh, <coughs> transfer of uh, infection okay so you should not never do that okay and it has been a very common fail where nurses are going and touching the catheter uh, tubing to just quickly see where the sample is because they want to know where the port is they want to know because they just want to be quick clamping and all that or sometimes they're clamping the catheter uh, tubing without they're not taking the sample without gloves but they're clamping the tubing without gloves now that would be a critical fail as well you cannot clamp and you cannot take sample without gloves and apron on so remember that so i hope these uh, make more sense to you now and hopefully you will not make these mistakes in exam <clears throat> and that will keep you safe in your practice uh, it is a easy station but lots of nurses are still failing it so i wanted to and you guys have requested for this video so i i am doing it now so hopefully it's going to help you to not make those mistakes and pass this station first time so i will back be soon be back with another video for you so if you like my videos please uh, like and subscribe you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com or email us on oskinastraining at outlook.com or go and check our reviews on our google advertisement page what nurses have been saying about our training i will soon be bringing another video to you so bye for now